Hey everyone, welcome to the SQL interview series of Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to see that how we can get the highest or the nth highest salary among all the employees. So you have a table here which has employee ID and salary details. Now what you need to do is that you need to get the nth highest salary and this n is the number which the interviewer will ask you. For example, he can ask you to give the fourth highest salary, fifth highest salary or the hundred highest salary from all of these employees. So within this video, we are going to discuss the two different approach to get the same output. The first approach, we will use the row number function and the second approach is the correlated nested query. So let's go to our SQL workbench and try to find out all the details from this table on which we are going to write the query. So first we need to see the table. So the table for this question is employee salary. So what we'll do is that we'll simply write select star from SQL interview which is my database dot employee salary. Now if I run this query you will have the same output employee ID and salary and from this table we have to find out the nth highest salary. So for example, let's take n is equal to 3. Okay. So we have to find out the third highest salary from this table. So the first approach that we will take for this question is the row number function. So we'll use the first option here. Option 1, row number function. Okay, so what we will do is that we will simply write select star from our this table. Okay, and after a star, what we will do is that we will put the row number function. Row number over. Now with this row number function. We can use the partition by also and in this scenario we do not have to use the partition by because we know that the employee ID is a unique over here. We can use the partition when there are duplicacy within this ID but there is no duplicacy so we will not use the partition. We will simply use row number over and then within this over we will use the order by clause order by salary after this we will give a name or alias to this column which is the row number in which we have used this row number function as so for example sort value this all will make sense once we will run this query so let's run this query now you can see that you have the employee 08 as sort value 1 because it's the smallest salary over here employee 10 as a second smallest salary but in our question we have to get the highest salary so in our row number function what we'll simply do is that we'll put order by salary and then we'll put descending order so this des will ask sql to use this row number function after sorting the salary in descending order so let's run this query now and now you can see that employee 6 has 92,462 as his salary which is the highest among this entire data. Now what we can simply do is that we can put select star from and then we'll close this bracket and we'll put a where condition where this sort value is equal to 3. Now if I run this query okay i will get the record where the sort value is equal to 3 which is the third highest salary so let's run this okay i think there is some error because of alias that we have not given the alias let's put as a now again let's run this query 
So we have this employee 04 with salary 85,339 and the sort value is 3. But we do not require the sort value. We just in our question we require the nth highest salary among all the employees, right? So it doesn't matter whether you keep this sort value as an additional column or not. But what I would recommend is to remove this sort value. So we'll simply put employee ID comma salary. And now we have the employee ID and the salary of that employee ID, which is the third highest. Now, suddenly somebody asks you that, okay, you have written a query which is giving the third highest salary. Can you give me the seventh highest salary? For seventh highest salary, what you can do is that you will use the same query which you have written over here. The only thing that you need to change over here is that the sort value should be, should be equal to seven. Now, if I run this query, you will see that you are getting the seventh highest salary which is 40,000 now this was the first approach for our solution of this question the first approach was using the row number function and the second approach that we are going to take is the correlated nested query so option 2 is correlated nested query okay so you might ask that what exactly is this correlated nested query so this correlated nested query are basically those queries in which we use any particular column of the outer query in our inner query so for example in our first example you will see that this particular section where line number 8 till line number 10 is the inner query and this line number 7 is the outer query similarly in correlated queries we will use any particular column of the outer query in our inner query so the inner query will create a replica of this particular table which we have over here this employee salary table then the table which we have in our memory in sql will compare each and every salary and give us the nth highest salary based on your requirement so if you are given third highest it will compare each and every salary one by one and it will give you the third highest salary the only thing that you have to do in this query is that you have to use n minus one as an option so let me show you how you can do that using the correlated nested query so what i'll do is that i'll simply put select the star from sql interview Okay, I think there is a mistake. SQL interview dot employee salary and we'll give an alias as EMP1. Now we'll put a where condition where we have to get the seventh highest salary in our data. So I'll put seven minus one, which is equal to six. So I'll put where six is equal to and then i'll put the inner query so the inner query will be select count of distinct salary from this particular table which is salary employee salary and then after this we'll give this a name which is emp2 then we'll put a where condition saying that where emp1 dot salary is less than emp2 dot salary and then we will close this bracket now when we had run this query we got our output as employee 1 which has salary 40,000 as the seventh highest so if our this query is correct it should also give us the employee 1 40,848 so let's run this query first and then we'll explain this query so we are getting the same output now the thing is that this correlated query or correlated nested queries are basically used when you want to 
use any particular column from the outer query so this is your outer query and you are using the employee salary column to compare it with your inner query which is this one and you are comparing this inner query salary with the outer query salary and so this inner query is creating a replica of this particular table which is employee salary and then the salary is getting compared with each and every salary of this inner query post this comparison it will give us the nth salary and you might think that why we are using this count distinct, distinct over here so this count distinct is used because there might be a chance that the salary amount can be same for some of the employees so in order to reduce the complexity of the query we have used this distinct salary count distinct salary so this is how you can write an sql query to get the nth highest salary whether the nth value is 10 100 thousand or first or second if you want to practice more sql questions then you can click on the right hand side of this video and if you want to learn about sql you can click on the left hand side of this video happy learning and see you in the next video